inside of the investigator portal, they have the ability to create case notes on their cases. These case notes can be updates or summaries, information, whatever a investigator does on a case, they can report to the file via the case notes. I'm logged in here as an investigator, so this is what an investigator sees when they log in. Obviously, it's a little different from the administrator role. So this video can be provided to the investigators as a tutorial for entering case notes or updates on their file. I've clicked on a case and uh, over here you have the case notes tab. That's going to bring up a list of case notes that the investigator has the ability to see. Now, if you are an investigator and you don't see certain notes here that you feel like you should see, contact the account administrator and let them know that you're not able to see certain notes. Now, they may not want you to see certain information or certain notes. But if there's information here that you do not see, that's because the administrator has set the visibility in the roles and access. So that person can change those accordingly if you feel like you need to see more information. So you have your notes here. You can filter notes by objective, in this case, report entries. Once again, this is all set according to the administrator. On the right-hand side, you can click the button and add a case note. This will give you the ability to format that case note, cut and paste, add whatever information is important for the file. In the upper right hand corner, you have the ability to email, let's say your manager or another investigator or somebody else that's associated with the file. You can send them an email and that email will automatically be added into the case file as a case note. So that's a convenient option as well. Here in your notes section, you have the ability to edit, forward. You can also see a log of uh, an email, so you can see kind of what's gone on with that particular note. In this instance, there's no email log for this note. You can also delete a note if the administrator gives you that ability. That's it for case notes. So once again, if an investigator wants to enter a case note, they'll go to a particular case, click on the case notes tab, in the upper right hand corner, they'll have the ability to add a case note. And the information that's visible here is all determined by the roles and access that an administrator gives a certain investigative user.